In this tutorial, I'll show you how I made this beach scene with resin. After mixing my art resin, I can stir in some sand. Doesn't matter at this point how much sand I add because after I spread it onto the board, I can sprinkle some sand on the amount that I want. If it needs more, then I can easily do that. This is part one of this video tutorial and for this first layer, I'm having the colors sit quite high up there on the board because I am going to have an additional two layers over this anyway for the waves. So I do want some of that sand to um, be showing through the waves. You'll know what I'm talking about once I lay down my first wave, which is coming up in this um, tutorial. In fact, I'm getting ready to mix my white now and this is Angel White by Lares. It makes lovely lacing and a nice 3D wave with the art resin combo. I always let it sit in the cup for about 10 minutes before I pour it on because I need it to be thick when you're doing these 3D waves. Otherwise, if you pour it on when it's runny, it, it might look okay at first, but then it kind of just um, bleeds out into nothing or disappears and you lose that lacing. I get a lot of people messaging me, direct messaging me on Instagram with that same issue. So that's why I wanted to mention that. But for now, I'm only applying the white there in those three sections because the white wave is coming after this layer has dried. And you may notice that I've got some gold rock formations up there. I've just made them out of mixing natural sand into gold metallic acrylic paint. So now we're ready for that wave. Now I'm drawing that line up higher because it always runs down a bit. The resin will expand outward. So I want it to be a bit lower than that. And there goes on my colors. Now I'm making sure the colors are more transparent because um, otherwise they're just gonna cover up the dolphins too much. And you can see how by angling that board, tilting it to blend the colors, you get this nice flow of water. I purposely tilted it in that direction so the water was flowing into the beach. Now what I didn't show you is that I actually sanded back that layer before pouring this um, second layer. So I sanded it back with about an 80 grit sandpaper just so that it gave the surface some tooth so that this um, layer of resin has something to attach to. Now my white's been sitting there patiently thickening up so I can pour it. I want a nice thick 3D line there and you can see it's pretty thick when you pour it out. It goes in a nice straight line. Now I'll use that heat gun with the compressor nozzle so it can blow plenty of air out. It needs to be on a pretty high setting, a uh, high fan speed setting so that it can actually push the um, white. And at the same time, holding it at an angle so it's skimming the surface and avoiding that edge because you don't want to blow your line away. Now I don't know what's happening in that top corner there. It's a bit of a weird um, wave there. So I'll fix that up in a moment. Here we go. I just carefully drop a bit of white to fill that space and then blow it out again. At the moment, there's not much lacing forming, but it just takes a moment, like maybe a few minutes, five to 10 minutes possibly, to really show the full effect of that lacing on the wave. So you've got to be patient, don't keep heating it with the heat because you, the heat does activate the lacing but you've got to be careful you don't heat up your resin too much. I've actually, in a previous painting, I was popping so many bubbles with the heat gun that I ended up forming indents in the resin. So when it dried it was indented, like dimpling and that was, I think it was because it was I just overheated it because I was the first time I'd used that much heat and that was the first time that's ever occurred and it's never happened again so be careful of that just wait patiently and see watch it um, form in its own time and excuse the phone here I hope you can see past it all right I've got to shoot my vertical videos for social media or else I just never have any footage Surprisingly, my resin line didn't drop down too much, so I've kind of got more sand revealed than I had originally planned. So I'm going to fill in that space with um, a shell and these beautiful iridescent clear quartz crystals. And they're from the res, and you can see that I have placed them down earlier as well when the sand was wet. 
But here I've just placed some a bit of clear resin and then put them on top so they'll stick to the clear resin. And stay tuned for part two of this tutorial where I'll paint the final wave. My name's Michelle Tracy. Thank you so much for watching.